So before we start, here's a little information on how Nintendo works. Nintendo is a company. Companies use social media. The social media pages make posts to celebrate holidays. Nintendo is a company that uses social media to celebrate holidays, and the holidays in question today is New Year's. So this was Nintendo's Splatoon 2021 artwork. Looks pretty tame, right? Well, you'd be right about that. But if you go a year back, that's where things start to get confusing. Nintendo's Splatoon New Year's post read, Have a great 2020. Okay, seems innocent enough. Didn't end up happening for like just about the entire human population, but they still said it. So at first when I saw this, I didn't see anything, because despite my constant nagging about wanting new Splatoon content, I haven't lost all of my sanity yet to start studying Splatoon artwork. I'm sure it'll happen soon, but not yet. But someone crazier than me realized that there was a secret message in this post that reads, Save our salmons. Now say what you want about the tease, or lack thereof, in Nintendo's Christmas Splatoon 2 post. Because if you had any reason to think it wasn't a tease, that idea is just simply out the window now. But the Save Our Salmons tease? That turned a lot more people into Splatoon 3 believers in 2020. When people first saw this, there were three groups that were divided on what the Save Our Salmons message meant. The big stupid loser group that thought it meant nothing, which, hey, guess what, you're wrong. The group that thought it would be Salmon Run DLC, which, guess what guys, you got a little more than you can ask for. And the group I was in, we believed Nintendo would just tease Splatoon 3. And to tons of surprise, even to the people who thought Splatoon 3 was close, we were right. Nintendo had just started to tease Splatoon 3. So when we first saw this, what did we think the tease game was about? When did we think Splatoon 3 was going to come out? Well for starters, it would definitely be about Salmons, and if you didn't pick that one up over the title, Save Our Salmons, then that's a you problem, not a me problem. Okay, so what about the Salmons? What's the deal? Well, it sounds full in the title that the Salmons need a little bit of saving, but what do they need saving from? The community consensus is that the Salmonoids are facing a population crisis due to us stealing all their golden eggs, which just goes to show that Inklings are genocidal child abductors. So, our genocidal child abducting is having some consequences. So what? Well, the way I can see this going down is Splatoon 3's campaign is going to be maybe like... Yo, 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 I'm Pearl, and I caused a great mass migration out of Ingopolis and probably crashed the local economy there, ruining countless lives and most likely destroying my friendship with Marina, and now I'm wearing this brown crown because it's chaotic. And then Mr. Grizz comes out, and he's all like, Zzz, I took all the eggies, and now I'm going to eat all the eggies. Um, nom 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 nom, eggies. And then Pearl is going to be like, Ah, uh, Mr. Grizz, that's not very fresh of you, so I'm gonna kill you and probably a bunch of reskin Doctarians that we the player have been killing for like six years now. Uh, 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 my, I'm upside down now, my dialogue is upside down now because I died and that's what happens in Splatoon if you die, you go upside down and everything's upside down. Uh, no, I'm gonna explode, uh, and then everything goes back to being a chaotic nightmare, just without mega conglomerates. Okay, so now that we've discussed what the story would be, when would this piece of slimy salmon content be coming out? Well, the obvious idea was that it would have come out in 2020, but there's this one tiny little problem, and that's called the calendar, and last time I checked, it's not 2020 anymore, thank god. Originally Splatoon 3 was going to be revealed in 2020 with a 2021 release date, but since that thing that makes us all wear masks happened, they pushed Splatoon 3 back a year. It's amazing how fast Nintendo was able to jump from making Animal Crossing right back into making Splatoon 3 again. I know, I sure love it. So I know, I find it weird that the same division of Nintendo that makes their most fast paced game also makes their most laid back and peaceful one. But anyways, that about wraps up the video. What did you believe would happen when Nintendo revealed this Save Our Salmons post? I thought it was Splatoon 3, but a lot of other people thought a lot of other things. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow with 100 things I want in Splatoon 3 Part 2. I will see you guys later.